What's up YouTube? Welcome to the vlog. So it's day 1981. Other unboxing today. So this time I got something going on the uh, new poles I just got. On the last video I did the four foot unboxing. If you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. Um, so I got toys today for my sorry about that. I got toys today for my new poles. So this is gonna be Another not uncommon unboxing. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so I got that. Now I want to take a pause for a second on that. I got an up and coming project coming up. I've got two more unboxings that's going to come in. Uh, I'm going to unleash, and then I've got a huge project that's coming on. Um, so my next project is going to be. I need as many subscribers to hit my channel as possible. Um, so my handle is all about, you know, it has it has a car in the name, so Stang 1981. Well, I happen to drive an 04 Mustang, so uh, it's an 04. It's not a Cobra, but it's a two valve. It needs some love. It needs a couple of things done to it, and I got a little uh, taste of that in one of the uh, teasers I'm going to do for the big project I'm going to do. So stay tuned if you want that. I need some subscribers to have that happen. Uh, it's going to be a few months probably before I can get around to getting everything collected together to do it. It's nothing special. It's nothing real exotic. Um, this I've got my daily. It's an 04 Mustang. It's two valve. So if you guys are into that, great. If not, it's cool. Um, so I'm just putting it out there. So anyway, back to the uh, unboxing here. So I've got this guy and sit tight for just a minute. Get a utensil here to pop it open. So I got this. And as you guys may have been following my channel, I got a four foot unboxing. Hang on just a second. Put a pause here in it. Okay. So if any of y'all have been following my channel, um, I had a four foot unboxing last time I left you guys off and I try to post on a vlog when I can and vlog as much unboxing stuff as I can do uh, I know some of you guys probably like it some of you guys think it's probably boring but I don't have a lot going on right now so I just kind of vlog what I can do what I can when I can and kind of take one thing at a time here with everything so Hope you guys enjoy the videos that I do. If you don't, tell me what you think. Because whether you like it or you don't, it can make me uh, better to what you guys look for in the next videos. So, and I do check them uh, occasionally. So, let me know. So, that was just a a packing slip. Let me know what's going on with it. And. This is going to be, like I said, a toy. It's going on one of my reels. Just a minute. Gas on both hands. Nicely boxed. Tissue paper. Okay, so you probably saw the back end of that, and now you see the Abu name. And in case you guys probably haven't known, this is going to be a. Gen 3. So I got a Gen 3 Revo RVO for short. 3 is for the Gen 3 SX 6 4 to 1. Now, the next one I'm going to probably end up getting because I've got several poles and I use multiple things with the poles I just received along with what I have now with my, with my gear. I uh, got a fishing trip I'm planning uh, with, my, with my dad. So I'm going to go out and do a fishing trip soon. Uh, what better way to compliment it than go out and buy a... I believe these are from 2012. Let's see what the box says. So I'm going to show you around on the box. But oop. Um, This will be my first Abu. This is my first Abu uh, product from Abu Garcia. So... Here's all the specs. I am going to be running some nice line on it and I will get to that in just a second.
So there's the specs that you want. You can pause it anytime if you like to see what the specs are. You can also grab those specs online. Here is the other panel. Okay, so further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and crack it open. Um, it's nothing special. There's been many a boxing of this already. It's been reviewed. Um, so anyway, I was back to saying I'm gonna get another one of these probably. Um, my next one after this is probably gonna be a Cast King. I'm gonna get the Cast King Demon. Um, you know, Speed Demon. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get a Speed Demon as well. Um, this sucker set me back probably, um, it's $150, um, but you can get them right now between 90 and 100 ish, depending on where you buy it. Uh, so if you can get them for around 100 bucks or around 90, 100 dollars, then go for it. I was gonna get a Gen 2. A lot of guys are saying the Gen 2s are built a little better with the internals, um, but that's hit or miss. Um, I had a Gen 2, and at the time I bought this, I didn't know about tuning them as well. And I'm going to get into that in here in just a minute. So here's the packing foam. Here is some literature. I'm going to go through each piece of literature so you guys know exactly what I'm looking at here. Uh, it's a warranty card, so I can send that in the mail. Get a nice little warranty with it. Probably for a year, limited. They don't cover if it fails on its own. I'm not out my money. Um, you can get this at Bass Pro for 119 I held off on Bass Pro. Um, I'm not saying it's not good to go to Bass Pro. I'm just saying that I didn't want to spend $119 on it when you can get it for about 100 bucks, 108 to be exact what I paid for it. Um, you can get some really good deals. I mean, this is a right hand. So you can get a left you can get a left side crank and you can get some really killer deals on left side of course right sells more and it's more common than left a left side crank can set you back easily uh, like a hundred bucks or less you can get them for like I think eighty something dollars because there's so many in stock um, so enough of me yapping here so got the Revo SX got the 10 bearings so you're gonna have 10 bearing, they don't count this, but you're gonna have 10 bearing plus your roller. So you're gonna have, I believe, 11 bearings in total when you count the roller. Um, great in the hand. Um, this will feel very, very similar to pretty much every any bait cast on the market, but where it sets itself apart a little bit uh, compared to some of the lower, the lower end reels um, is the materials that they're using, the bearings that they might choose. Oh yeah, it's nice and smooth. I like it. Um, I had a chance to really look into this over at um, Bass Pro. I got to look at it up close and just kind of looked at it briefly for a few minutes. Um, so it's typical. You, I don't know if you guys are all aware of this. I'm sure you guys are if you're watching this for the, when I go to post it, it'll have a nice little description of what this is, but so nothing new here. So if you own a Abu product, you're going to have your main, your main stud, your, you know, your stud crank. You can crank this to uh, tighten it up if it gets ever becomes loose. And it's also your access. So you would actually lo loosen this out and twist it out. And it'll allow you to have access to once you slide this. It's also a, um, it's like a stud with a pin. It's like a it's a it's a screw pin. You take this, you you loosen this out. It allows you ac full access to getting in behind here, so you can take this panel out and get into the magnets and everything. Um, typical, you know, it's going to be on a magnet uh, setup. Going to have magnets in it. Um, so I'm not going to go into how to like adjust it and all that other good stuff. It all depends on what you're running. That's going to vary. Um, so look up that on, online as far as how you want to set that up for your, for your own uh, setup. Um, this is just a brief idea here. So, uh, so yeah, so back to the, you know, the specs here. So we got a Revo SX, of course. Uh, if you're just tuning in, back up the video if you'd like and uh, check it out all over again from when I opened it up. Um, so I've got other things to unbox besides this uh, reel coming up. So I've got another uh, portion of this as well. So you look over here, i got another portion to go. Anyhow, so we got anodized red. Um, the one I was going to get was a Gen 2, which was going to have anodized red. Um, but the, the color scheme they were going for was a chrome on the 
you know, on the spool. It was all chromed out like a billet or machine CNC, whatever. Um, and it had red a accents like it has here on the holes. But uh, I noticed a couple of things already off the bat uh, is this feels a little bit smoother than in probably a Gen 2. Like I said, the Gen 2s, if you had certain ones, they were um, getting into that phase where the uh, internals were getting changed a little bit in the mid of their run with the Gen 2. Uh, that's not to say it's a bad thing. They just found out a couple of things about it. And um, let's see what the uh, internals are here real quick. But you got the worm. You got the worm on the front, the worm, you know, the worm drive, which is right there. It's a little, little notches, little knobs. You got the eyelet, the eyelet feet. You got your spool, anodized red and black. Man, he barely just touched that thing and just, just wants to move. It glides. Um, anodized red all over and black. Then you've got your set knob, so you can set it when you go to drop your lure for each lure or each setup that you're going to run for each time you go to cast out. And so enough of me yakking. So there's the side, there's your knob. There's your drag star. Let's see how that sounds. Does it? Oh, yeah. It cranks. Good. I was worried it wasn't going to crank on me a little bit. Okay. So that's cool. I like that. You got the whoop, focus. Come on. Focus. There we go. Lighting. 641. RVO3 SX got decal here probably for quality control they know all about that and then it's got that nice I want to say that's I don't know the lighting is kind of throwing it off but I would say that's probably either like a, almost a borderline black chrome but it plays with the light, so I'm going to call that just a chrome. But there you go. And then you got your magnetic knob. Looks like two, five, ten settings, it looks like. It's an Abu. And of course, you can't have a premium product without some little bit of oil to go with it. So you buy some of their upgraded stuff, they throw you a little oil. Um, so any questions on that, you can leave them in the comments below. And that takes care and wraps up this portion with my Abu Gen 3. So that's the, that concludes the Gen 3. Um, so like I said, any questions, leave them in the comments below. Hopefully you guys liked that one, and it's not going to end there. So now, I'm continuing on. I got this. This will be very basic. So this will be brief. Alright. So, along with that, I picked up some of this. Now, for some of you guys, you're going to be like, oh god, you're running 30 pounds. That's too heavy. Well, I had a run. no choice. I did some research and my research is yes I think 30 pounds is a little sucky for me I would have liked to run 20 pound instead and so you guys know this is braid by the way this is going to be uh, in, um, low visible moss green um, power pro and here's the specs on it 30 pound 150 yard okay well, the specs, don't know if they throw the spec on the line. This is where I wanted to hold off on all the specs here. Um, so, I've looked at Braid. Okay, see they have different ones. Okay, so they're, they're breaking them down into, into, into individual. Okay, so... 
mono is the first second to last bar and then you've got this one right here i'm running 30 pounds so i'm gonna have 140 yard that's cool so they broke it all down that's good on my phone i had it all broken down and i was going to go between uh fluorocarbon and this good stuff only trouble was i couldn't find this exact stuff in um 20 pound that's more common but they say 30 pounds you can use it on pretty much anything an open face and the uh, the bait casters will work okay with it so if you flip it over to here i don't know if i saw yeah i looked at so many it's so many of them i don't know if they had anything with yeah, that was probably the berkeley i saw and I, I i had some berkeley trialing in my hand too and it had like what was rated with it with little stars next to it on the tab or you know on the hanger but it's okay it does the same thing so i've done my research and everybody said if you don't want to go with uh like spider wire um and you're you're torn between a bunch of different brands on the shelf at walmart this is one of the go-to brands um i'm probably going to end up going with some uh cast king as well i know that sounds really cheesy but actually cast king has a really good line um and it's your choice this is all preference so um cast king 